quick little update with the fishies after we treated them pulled them out of the pond and gave them some some of them a salt bath and we also treated a few of them with tamadine on their wounds and cuts they all seem to be doing well all hungry as usual all coming up for the feed you can see they've all recovered <laughs> so a quick little update with the fishies just to show you guys that they've recovered and they're all doing well and what I've done I've gone online and ordered myself a microscope so I can take scrapings off the fish and actually get to the bottom of it and find out what the fish have actually got if they've got any parasites on them I'll find out exactly what's going on in there one of the guys mentioned mate hurry up and get yourself a um, microscope so you can find out what's going on with the fish um, and the guy that commented for me was um, Devon Clay Pond. Um, name is Martin. Uh, thank you for that, mate. I was actually waiting for the, your reply on that to be honest with you and take action from there. So that should arrive sometime next week. And then I'll be making a video of um, unpackaging my microscope and also um, taking some scrapings of some of them never used a microscope before so it's pretty new to me so once I get the packaging you guys can see how I'm going to be working it out and um, well see what we'll find on scrapes too but other than that the fish are fine they're all feeding well they've all recovered again from the um, treatment that they all had so everything's well in the pond what I'm also going to be doing today I'm going to take out all start taking out won't be done today start taking out these bays start focusing on this side and the end of the garden get all this neatly done up because I do want to focus on the pond and get a few more other bits and bobs installed to my pond so yeah I'm going to be taking out these bays I've already cleaned out the weed out of them pulled out all the weeds I did have a bay over there as well, right running along down from all the way to there, which I've took out. There was three bays, which were like this, but they're all pretty much old now. They've done their purpose, and they're all there's slight little rots here and there. I'm going to keep the other um, woods that are solid that I can reuse again, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with them. Hello, you. Where are you off to? So what I've done with the reusable ones, I've just basically brushed them down a little bit, 
um, put them together into slightly smaller bays. Connected them up like this, cut pieces of wood, about a foot, a foot long. It's about exactly one foot of the bay. And used 80 mil wood screws, and screwed them in and joined them up. Pretty easy stuff. So now I'm just gonna give it a paint. And I've made a smaller one already to show you guys what the end result will look like. And I've planted my fig in there. And there's the fig tree in one of them, looking really nice. Painted it all up, goes all the way around. There's no bottom to it. So the tree will, roots will hit to the ground and it will turn into a really lovely tree. So yeah, that's what I've done with that one. Let's just give the other one a paint and we'll decide where that one's gonna go. Okay, so I finished up the second um, flower bed. Gave it its two paints. Looking all nice and solid. Painted it all the way around. As I said, I've run out of staples to put the membrane in here. I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. Just place it here for now. Yeah, you guys can see, looking really nice, really solid. And while I was bringing down all this flower bed over here and cleaning out the rubbish over here, sorry about all this rubbish, I found uh, some pond liner from my first pond. So I'm gonna be throwing that into there, see if that fits. And if it fits, I'm gonna be chuffed with that. Because what I'm gonna be doing, I can turn that into my filter bob and get all the plants out from the pond that the fish are digging up away on and place everything into here and run the water straight back into the pond. So I'll give you guys a little update on that um, once I get around to it. So, as I said, I've ordered my microscope, gonna be receiving that. And once I've received that, I'm gonna be making another video of unpackaging it and um, taking some scrapings from the fish and finding out exactly what the problem is. Hopefully I don't have any problems. And it's just been a few little incidents of the fish maybe hitting themselves around the flower pots in the, in the pond. So I'm also gonna be putting up the fourth backy tray and uh, ordered some different media for that, which I'll show you guys on the next video. So yeah, all the fish are fine, they've all recovered, all doing great, eating away as usual. They're like hungry pigs in the pond, always eating away. So yeah, so before I end this video, I'd like to say thank you to the new subscribers. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can subscribe to the channel now. And if you like the video, you can give us a thumbs up and share the video. That'd be great. If you don't like the video, you can give us a thumbs down. That'd be great too. So, once again, thank you very much for watching the video. All take care and all be safe.